Hey, 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 Aries. This is your sacred scribe here ready to do your Wednesday, July 29th to the 30th. Intuitive Love Tarot read. This is for my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you guys today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Aries, before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your needs and your questions, the information can be found in the description box below. All right, I'm going to grab a couple of cards and then get a channeled message for you, Aries, before we begin. What's going on for Aries? What's going on for Let's say Aries 29th to the 30th. What do Aries need to know? What do Aries need to know? Okay. So we have the lovers at the bottom of the deck, Aries. We have the Queen of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, the Five of Swords. In the King of Swords. Okay. So let's get this message. Interesting, Aries. Do not car compartmentalize yourself. Do not separate yourself. They're saying you must connect everything. You must connect the body, mind, and spirit. You must think of yourself as a whole, not as separate in everything that you do. So, okay. I feel that this, this is specific to some people who are going to work, like actually going to work, like outside of the home. When you go to work, don't just express a part of yourself, that work self. You need to begin to express the whole, okay? This is going to, one, people are going to see you differently in a, in a very different light. But because you're being more authentically you, and that's not to say that you're not authentic, you're not showing people the entirety of you. You're not showing people your hearts, okay? And this is needed. You're going to feel better. This is going to give you more energy, they're saying. This is going to lift you up as well as others around you. And I feel that higher ups, like people above you, if, if you work for somebody, are going to see you differently. And I feel that this will actually lead to a, some sort of promotion. There's some sort of, if it's not a promotion, they're going to begin to give you different responsibilities because they're going to see different aspects of you and they're going to think, wait a minute, this person, they would be good over here as well. So let's try them over here. And this is going to be a good thing. Okay. Very interesting, Aries. Okay. Put your heart out there, Aries. Come on now. All right. What up here? Some of you, is this Aries? Some of you may be interested in a Queen of Cups. Now, this is just feminine energy. It can totally be a male. That's Cancer Scorpio Pisces. But you're looking at this Queen of Cups and thinking that you want to invest some energy here. You want to be patient. Now, this Queen of Cups is not it has her head turned. So you're going to have to do something. You're going to have to make some forward movement here to let them know that you're interested. Okay? 
because they're not seeing you. Not only is the Queen of Cups looking in the opposite direction, but they're not seeing you. And I feel it's based on they, they're coming out of a relationship. So you're going to have to do something that catches their attention, they're saying. Okay? Not like everybody else. They're saying not like everybody else. You have to do something that's going to catch their attention. Like what would you do to catch this person's attention? It's almost as if they're in a state, like just in this daze, right? You know when you're daydreaming and somebody has to snap you out of it? Sort of kind of like that, but they're just, one, they're being stubborn. They don't want to leave this state. Two, they're acting bored, okay? So uh, I'm feeling you need to do something fun. Fun? Funny? Maybe? Um, to make them smile? Yes. That's what they're saying. Now, <laughs> be careful of somebody around you when you do this, because I do feel you will catch their attention eventually. But there's somebody around you. For some of you, this is somebody at work. But there's somebody around you who's going to see this and witness this, and they're going to be jealous. This could be a Libra with the queen, uh, with the, sorry, with the king of swords here. But let's see. Tell me about the king of swords. Who is this king of swords? Libra. Justice card. This is karma. This is listening to your intuition as far as this person is concerned. Okay. If this person just recently got a divorce, then it's them. They're going to be extremely jealous of this relationship because I do feel you're going to have a relationship with this person. Because this person is very controlling. But they're receiving their karma. Not in a good way. Tell me about the Five of Swords. Yeah, told you. They're going to be jealous. That's them. They, they, they may try to do things to tear you apart. Okay? So don't even give them the time of day, Aries. Okay? All right. Seven of Pentacles. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. Three of Swords. You may notice that this person is healing. And this is why you're having patience right now and you're not doing everything. Okay, Aries. Okay. I get it. Take your time. They're not going anywhere. So take your time. Clarify this one more time. Yeah. You recognize their soul. You recognize that they may be a past life soulmate. You may have had some dreams about this, they're saying. Four dreams to be exact. Four separate dreams. Tell me about this Queen of Cups. Ah, this could be a twin. Four of Wands. Yeah, they're, they're healing over a marriage. If it's not a marriage, it's a long-term relationship. But it looks like it's a divorce. It feels like it's a divorce. But you see definitely a future in this person. Yeah. There was a tower moment that happened to this person. Because uh, they just seem so sad. This Queen of Cups seems so sad. So your patience is admirable. Yeah, they're in hermit mode. Okay, over this tower moment. So let them heal. Be gentle with them. Okay, you'll know when the time is right, Spirit is saying. Yeah, the Four of Cups is clarified by the Seven of Cups. Confusion and the Magician. They're not sure. They're confused about how to go forward. How are they going to manifest anything? They're, they're, I'm feeling fear here about their future. And this is what they're all caught up in, these thoughts. Okay? Wow. So let's get some advice for you here, Aries. Now, this could be reversed, Aries. 
where you're going through a divorce and you're feeling it and you're this queen of cups here, okay? But I really feel like this is you. Advice for Aries regarding this situation, please. Advice for Aries. Oh, high priestess. Uh-huh. Okay. Twin flame card of mine. Page of Wands. Queen of Wands in the Moon card. Yeah. You're going to keep this hidden. You're going to keep your feelings hidden. Okay. You're going to keep this to yourself. The fact that you want to manifest this. And this is a good thing. Okay. You're going to listen to your intuition. But you're going to remain optimistic about this. Definitely. And this could definitely be a twin. So you could... I feel like you're very connected to this person and I don't even feel like you know them well. I feel like you know them. It's like on an acquaintance basis. Maybe you've had small talk, um, but it's, it's like you can feel when the time will be right. You'll be able to feel that. Eight of Swords. Make sure that you're not getting caught up in your thoughts, okay? Because you may need to set yourself free from this. Okay, because from being patient, right, and waiting there and waiting and waiting, sometimes you can just create these scenarios that just aren't true. The what ifs. So they're wanting you to be aware of these what ifs because what if not, right? And they will respond to your offer when the time is right, Aries, okay? All right, Aries, I hope this helped. Please drop a like below. Share and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your needs and your questions. The information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment. Let me know if this resonates with you. I want to hear from you guys and like and share. Okay, you have a good one, Aries, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Namaste.